Hello fan club, Sula here with my next adventure. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about fun places to hike in Raleigh, North Carolina, the capital city. In 1995, my family sold a family home in South Carolina and they moved to Raleigh, North Carolina to raise my reprobate nephew. And they mostly lived in this house behind me here in Raleigh. And so when I would come to visit them in the ensuing years, I had to find fun places to go to hike because there aren't any mountains in Raleigh and there aren't any oceans. So over the years, I came up with the list of some fun places to go and we're gonna go over them today. So do you have any questions? I didn't think so. Let's get started. Coming in at number 10 is the Jordan Lake State Recreation Area. I'm putting it at 10 because it's not actually in Raleigh. It's in Apex, North Carolina. In fact, it's 26 miles from Raleigh to Jordan Lake via Highway 64. It's actually quite pretty and would come in much higher were it actually in Raleigh, but it's close enough to make my list. Jordan Lake is actually a reservoir created by the Army Corps of Engineers in 1974 to control flooding or so they said, and also for recreation. The Army Corps of Engineers is responsible for destroying nature, and they created this reservoir by damming the New Hope River and the Hall River. The reservoir is 14,000 acres, and it has 180 miles of shoreline. It has numerous trails, but each trail has its own access point on a different road, so the trails are not actually connected. The best trail is probably the New Hope Trail, which is five miles long and goes through a beautiful deciduous forest, which becomes quite colorful in the fall with orange, red, and yellow. Jordan Lake is about the closest dark place you can go if you want to go outside and look at the night sky because Raleigh at 250,000 people is quite light polluted and there's a good pier that you can drive up to after hours for stargazing. The park itself as a state park closes at sunset. It does have two campgrounds though and you can camp there and also view the night sky. Jordan Lake is also an excellent place for wildlife viewing. You can see ducks in the lake and you can see migratory songbirds in the trees in the springtime. And year round you can see raptors, including a nest where you can see bald eagles. There is a visitor center off of Highway 64 where you can pick up maps and find out how to access the numerous hiking trails. Number nine. Coming in at number nine is the North Carolina Museum of Art Trail. It's mostly flat and paved and is open to walking and biking, and you can also rent bikes there. It goes through some interesting outdoor art displays and is a pleasant and easy place to walk right in Raleigh. Number eight. Coming in at number eight is Lynn Lake. Lynn Lake is a man-made lake in Raleigh on Lynn Road. The lake was created for flood control purposes in 1976 by damming the Hare Snipe Creek a tributary of Crabtree Creek. The lake has an area of 56 acres and lies entirely within the city of Raleigh's 75-acre Lake Glen Park. It has a lovely three-mile greenway trail around the lake with nice views across the lake. You can see lots of birds and ducks here, including migratory songbirds in the trees surrounding the lake. It can get extremely crowded on weekends Coming in at number seven is Lake Crabtree County Park, 
Raleigh's first county park. It has about seven miles of trail around the lake and through forest. It's a lovely park close to Umstead State Park, but is way too close to Interstate 40 and thus extremely noisy. Shelly Lake, number six. Shelly Lake is a natural rural lake of 21 acres fed by Saltees Creek and a natural underground spring. It has a wonderful 2.2 mile trail around the lake and it also connects to the Raleigh Greenway system. You can take this all the way to Crabtree Valley Mall. There's a large open area for playing soccer or football or just lying on your back to watch the sky or to play Bro Olympics. You can hike, bike, fish, and also work out on the exercise benches located along the trail. It's a great place to see birds year-round, both on the lake and in the trees surrounding the lake trail. Number five, the Noose River Greenway Trail is a fantastic 33-mile long paved greenway trail running along the Noose River from Falls Dam to the town of Clayton. Starting at Falls Lake Dam is the Bike Guide, a full-service bike shop. It has scenic views of the Noose River and passes through historic sites, agricultural fields, and has a boardwalk over wetlands. It's open to hiking and biking and is part of the Mountains to the Sea Trail that runs from the Great Smoky Mountains to the Outer Banks. It's a beautiful trail, can mighty crowded. Number four, Falls Lake State Recreation Area. It's a human-made lake created by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers who dammed the Noose River in 1978 to create this reservoir for flood control and recreational purposes. Many homes and businesses were displaced by this project. There's a visitor center which is closed on weekends, and that's a shame because there is no bathroom. You can take Creekmore out of Raleigh until you reach the park entrance, and several connected trails commence at the visitor center, but not always near the reservoir. Number three, Yates Mill Pond County Park. It's an historic site and native wildlife refuge. It's 174 acres and it features the last operating 18th century water powered grist mill in North Carolina's Capital County, Wake County. The park includes over three miles of hiking trails that traverse pond, creek, forest, and wetland habitats. There are picnic areas, boardwalks, overlook decks, a field classroom, and an amphitheater available year-round. Steep Hill Creek and a 3,300-acre watershed feed this 20-acre mill pond. NC State University conducts biological studies in the center's research wing. The mill, operated by the nonprofit group Yates Mill Associates, contains multiple generations of milling technology and displays the evolution of early industries in Piedmont, North Carolina. Guided tours are available March through November with corn grinding demonstrations by costumed interpreters on the third weekend of each month. It has served as a field research facility for NC State since 1963 when the university purchased the mill property and 1,000 surrounding acres. It's an excellent place to see birds year round it's also a peaceful walk, and it's fun to look at the water mill, although it did not seem to be properly working the day I went there. As you can see, the water is pouring over the side, and the mill is not turning. Other than that, I highly recommend this beautiful little park. Number two, 
Coming in at number two is the Hemlock Bluffs Nature Preserve. It's actually not in Raleigh either, but it's pretty close. It's in Cary. The Hemlock Bluffs Nature Preserve is 97 acres. It's home to a unique community of eastern hemlock trees and other mountain plant species that you would normally only find in the mountains and not in the Piedmont area of North Carolina. It has approximately three miles of mulched nature trails. It has scenic overlooks and it has excellent bird and wildlife watching opportunities and areas for quiet nature reflection. The Stevens Nature Center provides interactive, educational, nature exhibits, and historical exhibits from Piedmont, North Carolina. The park is a result of a joint effort of the town of Cary, North Carolina, and REI and some other organizations to save this last stand of eastern hemlocks in the Piedmont area of North Carolina. There are other trees there, chestnut oaks, beech wood trees, and other deciduous trees. And this is a beautiful park. They allow you to walk your dog there if it's on a leash. And it's an excellent place to see birds year round. And it's a very special place because of the exponential population growth in the town of Cary. And it's special that they save these hemlock trees in this area as a nature reserve. Welcome to the William B. Umstead State Park, crown jewel of Wake County. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, number one, the William B. Umstead State Park, right in the heart of Raleigh. The crown jewel of Wake County. Long before the first settlers, the area now known as William B. Umstead State Park was an untamed land. There were American bison, elk, bobcats, and wolves roaming the forest of oak, hickory, and beech. Native Americans later inhabited this land and avenues of trade were developed nearby. Such avenues included the Okonichi Trail to the north and the PD Trail to the south. In 1774, land grants opened this area for settlement. The forests were cleared as agricultural interests sprouted. While early farming efforts were successful, poor cultivation practices and one crop production led to depletion of the soil and erosion. During the Depression, Farmers made futile attempts to grow cotton here in the worn-out soil around Crabtree Creek. In 1934, under the Resettlement Administration, federal and state agencies united to buy 5,000 acres of this sub-marginal land to develop a recreation area. The Civilian Conservation Corps and the Works Progress Administration helped construct the site while providing much-needed jobs. They built four camps, along with day use and picnic facilities, and the park opened to the public in 1937. The state purchased this area, known as the Crabtree Creek Recreational Demonstration Area, for one dollar, and more facilities were built as the General Assembly made its first state parks division appropriation in the 1940s. In 1950, more than 1,000 acres of the park were established as a separate park for African Americans. This area was named Reedy Creek State Park. Crabtree Creek Recreational Demonstration Area was renamed a few years later after former Governor William Bradley Umstead because of his conservation efforts. In 1966, 
the Crabtree Creek and Reedy Creek areas were united under the same name, William B. Umstead State Park, open to everyone. Prior to the purchase of the land for public use, it had historically been used for timberland as well as a site for several mills along Crabtree Creek. Remnants of the milling operations can still be found preserved within the park on the company mill trail. During segregation, the Highway 70 entrance, which is called Crabtree Creek entrance, was for white people and the Reedy Creek entrance was for black people. Currently, the Reedy Creek entrance is the main entrance to the park for North Carolina State University and people living in the town of Cary. This beautiful park is 5,000 acres and has 22 miles of trails. Many of the trails are multi-use trails open to hiking, biking, and horseback riding. The most popular hiking trail is the Company Mill Loop, which is accessed via the Reedy Creek entrance and is six miles long and goes over Reedy Creek, which is an excellent area to see birds. The other most popular trail is the Sycamore Loop Trail accessed from the Crabtree Creek entry, and it's seven miles long. I've never seen a sycamore on this trail, so I'm not sure why it's called that. However, the park is full of a variety of trees, including white oaks, red oaks, hickory nut, Mockernut hickory, beechwood, loblolly pine, sweet gum, and other trees. The park is lovely year round, but bursting with wildflowers and birds in the spring, and is a feast for the eye when all the deciduous trees turn shades of yellow, orange, and red in the fall. Unfortunately, the park is bordered by the Raleigh Airport on one side and Interstate 40 on another side and is therefore quite noisy and you can hear planes flying overhead constantly. However, this is a fantastic park and there's no doubt about it, it's the best place to hike in Raleigh, North Carolina. I highly recommend a visit to Umstead State Park either off of Highway 70 to the Crabtree entrance or the Harrison Avenue exit off of Interstate 40 to the Reedy Creek entrance. But be prepared for running into a lot of people. Both entrances are very popular and crowded on weekends, but well worth a visit any time of year. Please note that there is no road that goes all the way through the park. The Reedy Creek entrance is not connected to the Crabtree entrance. Both of them dead end and have parking lots where you can start your hike. The Civilian Conservation Corps built some cabins that you can rent in the summertime near Sycamore Lake. They have some cabins called La Pijo, which they named that for lakes, pines, and hills, and another set of cabins. You can also rent boats at the Big Lake in the summertime. The Big Lake, Sycamore Lake, and the other lake in Umstead State Park are all human-created lakes made by the Conservation Corps for recreational purposes. However, they make an attractive feature to the park and are quite scenic in the fall when the trees reflect on the lake. So, that's it. Those are my recommendations for hiking in and around Raleigh, North Carolina. The park was particularly scenic the day I visited on a beautiful fall day. So let's just have a look around for a while before I sign off.
I hope you enjoyed my list of the best places to hike in Raleigh, North Carolina. So that's it for now. Have a peaceful journey through life full of peopleless trails and dark skies forever. So long till next time. Sula, signing off.